think we're uh, we're gonna get fucked one more time. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date and I'm your humble narrator and welcome back to Awesome Knots. Today I will be showcasing a victory with Professor Milton Ulip. This is post commentary, I did have to download the video from the Awesome Knots server since I was not able to uh, record it myself. For whatever reason, I, I decided that I wasn't going to turn the camera on, which usually I, I always do. But this was an exceptional victory, in my opinion, and uh, I'd, I'd like to uh, not let it go to waste, indeed. So, I do get a triple kill somewhere in here. I'll go ahead and make you privy to that right now. But, uh, Ulip is not necessarily my favorite character from the Overdrive expansion. I really, really like Chucho Croc. Able to net a creep with some dinos there. Oh, yeah, and group that Rocco. He takes some turret damage. Mmm, I'm gonna get this Ulip. Come here, buddy. Yeah. You gonna get some, huh? Ugh, and gripped. Nice, nice. Fuck! Hmm. Got by baby. So, it's generally not a good idea to exchange kills like that because the net gain, solar, for yourself is uh, about 10. It does pump both teams solar by 30 because each team gets a kill. However, um, both teams getting the max solar is not the goal. The goal is to, you know, outpower the enemy team. And uh, you can't do that if you're, if you're feeding them kills. Then you're basically just equally matched. Kind of goes without saying now that I've said it out loud. <laughs> So, for upgrades, as far as Ulip, I really, really hesitate to uh, get any upgrades for his melee attack to start with. I, I like upgrading the gaze. Usually, I'll get range of the games. Oh, wow. I didn't expect that kill at all. <laughs> I'll get range of the gaze to start with. Um, and then you're able to net people into the dinos that much more easily. Uh, slower movement speed of the dinos is extremely important, as well as... Um, lifetime of the dinos for the third thing I'll sometimes go with uh, jumping and then uh, occasionally I'll go for a fourth dino it all depends kind of on their team makeup and what what they've all built uh, their team right now isn't very aerial like if they had an Ayla or a Yuri or something like that I might be a little more worried but uh, baby Ulip and Rocco are not going to uh, put the fear into me, especially in post commentary. <laughs> Did I mention that already? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, aside from the dinos, once you've built up the gate, the range for the gaze and the dinos, I'll generally go for damage on the gaze. There's uh, multiple damage upgrades. One of them does like flat damage as well as stun duration. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, my whole team is dead. My whole team is dead. Um, stun duration on the gaze is good, as well as the flat damage. There's a lifesteal effect, which I really, really like. And then, um, there's a DOT that you're able to get if you're within a certain range of the enemy awesome knot. Oh my god, why would I do this? <laughs> I'm questioning your, uh, your actions in, in post-commentary, Dayton. Why did you do this? What are you gonna buy? Something awesome, I'm so sure. <laughs> oh, so, um, yeah, for the gaze, get the damage upgrades, definitely anything you want. Lifesteal, kind of cool. Uh, dinos I talked about. Finally, once you're done building all that, I'd suggest building the melee, because it's basically the only thing left. I see you all up there. Definitely do. Um, you can increase the droid heal of your melee attacks. You can give the uh, the droids that you kill, like, they're marked for death, so they drop a health pack. Picking up the health packs can increase your melee attack speed for 10 attacks, which is extremely helpful. And then, uh, if you combine that with um, the decreasing cooldown, there's a cooldown decrease for the dinos every time you hit somebody with the, uh, the melee attack, which is... A good uh, optional thing to build if, if that's what you're into. Generally, I'm a bit too far out of combat to really make that worthwhile. Um, Ulip does have interesting boots that allow him to move faster once he stuns somebody, which is a really, really cool thing. Uh, 
but generally I don't find myself using it. My way of playing Yulib is extremely laid back and kind of, uh, not always in the middle of the fray, you know? You just kind of have to wait for your moment to grip somebody. And, uh, okay, now my teammates are close by, and you don't really want to waste your grip like I just did. <laughs> um, it is an important thing to capitalize. Always capitalizing. Luckily, I was able to avoid his dinos somehow. Jesus. Just going back and forth. Sticky bomb would be really helpful. Okay. That'll work fine, too. <laughs> Yeah, just uh, performing really well with Yulip, partly because um, people haven't quite learned to deal with him yet, you know? You know how far you can be out from the turret to uh, avoid a Raylan snipe or something like that, because raylan has been around since the very, very beginning. But Yulip is a, a bit more of a mystery for people, is what I find, and I'm sure that'll change with time. But uh, for now, definitely it rings true. We're still trying to figure out the new characters just a little bit. Skoldier is uh, a suggested... Ooh, wow. <laughs> Skoldier is a suggested match for any of the new characters. But um, I find that, you know, Ulip is is pretty good at co countering Skoldier. Especially if your dinos are up. You just kind of need to make full use of them. Is the true secret. Um... Preferably, I would not have gripped that guy immediately. I will steal that fucking health orb, though. Yeah! Get it, Dayton! Get it! You're so awesome! And yeah, there's me kind of running with the dinos, which is not the thing that you want to do if you want to avoid being chewed up by them. Like that. Yeah! Chew all the droids up! Oh! I'm gonna get them good! And this turret's going down. And I'm out! And I'm out! And you're dead! And so am I. <laughs> Boosh. Nice. So once again, a uh, one for one kill exchange. Or was that two for one? I don't know. Um, but we're going to try not to do that again. Need to get the points on the board is what it's all about. Wow. Thought somebody was going to do something to that Ulip, but I guess the sentry hadn't charged his black hole yet. Anyways, just get some uh, free solar for myself. Wait for the droids. Back up the droids with the dinos. Oh god, and I missed my gripping gaze on that Ulip. That's so unfortunate. How could this happen? Oh, I need to go. We're leaving now. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> it is kind of nice. I do like the post commentary in a way because you're able to see pe at the enemy in the bushes and what they're trying to plan. But uh, I do like the, the in-game commentary also because you're a little bit more surprised. Oh, that was so sweet. Trapped him in the turret. His uh, his charge was the death of him. And it seems like he didn't have the jump on those dinos. But because my dinos do have the jump, they're able to jump through that bush and uh, get those droids. Help, help out a little bit with the droids. We're pushing this bottom turret pretty good. Seems like, seems like. What you gonna do? Rocco's calling for help. That's another cool thing about the post commentary. Rocco's got no help at all. That is so unfortunate. The Ulip's kind of in the top lane doing his own thing. There is a Rocco. Boosh. Grip that. Grip that out on the floor. I did buy fucking movement speed at some point, but it didn't help. I did. Three and three, friends. Get that, uh... Well, that wasn't even an exchange, was it? We're, we're doing worse than we said we'd do. But that's all right. I know that uh, a triple kill is coming right up. Gonna put me on top of the board. Tell you what, Baby is obviously scared of the dinos for good reason. I could grip the shit out of them. Yeah, they gonna get you. They gonna get you so good. And I actually know that's Decathlon, and he's, he's a pretty good player. I think he was in my Derpel video as well. We're in roughly the same league. He's fucking following me, is what this is. Here's the triple kill. Trap the baby in the Chucho bomb. Baboosh! Drop the dinos. Oh, so sweet. And, uh, I think that Rocco wasn't expecting the fourth dino to come along. Hooray! Triple kill! <laughs> and that's, uh, that's a killing spree. I'm gonna add that killing spree music in there because fuck yeah. Why not, dude? And I'll push my way to the base, even though I could just let the droids fight their way in. 
just a little more damage. Probably help me out uh, if somebody could clear that top lane. But it's not really gonna matter, is it? No, I'm sure it's not. It is. I think we're uh, we're gonna get fucked one more time. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, don't run with the dinos, Dayton. <laughs> Who'd like a pancake? <laughs> yeah, there's bolts on the pancake. That's uh, his his life steal is the syrup dispensing machine, which I didn't really know that uh, Ulip was Canadian or whatever he is. Able to track the uh, Tinker a little bit. He is in trouble. And he's dead. He's dead! Chew these droids up so we can get all of the uh, all of the lanes pushed here. And you stop it, baby! Boosh! Kill for Dayton! <laughs> Seven and four. Nicely, nicely turned around. I think this is in League 3. Oh! And s yeah, people just uh, aren't, aren't quite sure of the range on those dinos yet. So friends, this has been Awesome Nuts. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. If you did enjoy this episode, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. And until the next time, friends. Bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friend.